So this whole process that is done by the executor is called probate. Probate, once again, is the legal validation of the will. And in that probate process, you must probate or put an announcement in the paper. And if we were in the office, I actually have a copy stored at my desk, which is doing me absolutely no good here but it literally is in the legal section of the document and of the newspaper that would say, hey, if anybody has the right to the property located at 12 Smith Street, please contact the attorneys, do we cheat them and how, and let us know. Really, we're gonna let that one go by? The attorneys, do we cheat them and how? That was the Three Stooges attorneys. Okay, doesn't matter. So what they're looking for is someone to step up and go, yes, Raymond owes me money and here's the proof. So when they probate, they have to probate the county that the decedent lived in. I would get my will probated in Brown County. And let's put a semicolon and every county they own real property in. So it would probate in Johnson County, in Marion County, in Hancock County, because I own real property in those counties. Shauna? Yeah, I wanted to know, um, you're saying that they put the information, like does this property belong at whatever street number you get? And then they give them some time to come and claim that. Now, is that still how they're doing it? Are they putting it in newspapers or is there other some somewhere on the form of them getting that information? That is a very good question. There is a lot of legal talk going on right now about this situation because when the law came about, obviously we had newspapers and there are a couple of different scenarios and where an attorney has to post things in a public place, and the newspaper has been the go-to source, like uh, probate, probating, that's one. Uh, deed to uh, quiet title is, is a second one. And there are very strict requirements. Well, the problem we're having is what you're getting to is, for example, Brown County only prints a newspaper on Monday, one day a week. It would be hard to do a suit to quiet title, which requires the attorney to post it three times, uh, three times in two weeks, no more than a week apart. Well, the problem with that is in Brown County, you couldn't do that because in a two week time frame, there's only two newspapers. So yes, there has been a lot of discussion about should there be some kind of online area that would be construed as legal service or service by publication. And the problem that there is, is people saying, well, you know, that could cost money. People that are poor may not be able to afford it, or they may not have the internet connection if they live out in the boonies. So they're not really solved that. But that is going to be a com coming problem when they start all of a sudden going away from completely going away from it. So. It's a very good question. I don't know how to answer that, uh, but technically, currently, it's called service by publication is the legal valid way to serve notice to everybody. It is incumbent upon you to be reading the legal section. If you miss it, you may have lost your chance to make a claim. So good question. I have not got the a solid answer for that. I probably should talk to my attorney and ask him where are we at in this scenario because it is going to be an issue. Cameron? I said, did you ever find out if uh, a Liz pendant expires? Oh, you know what? No, I didn't. Thank you for making me look bad on camera, Cameron. I did not find out if a Liz pendant expires. But here's what we shall do. Hey Siri, send a message to John Cook. 
Does a Liz pendant ever expire? What do you want to say? Does a Liz pendant ever expire? So I just texted my attorney and he probably will ignore it for a day or two because he's probably tired of hearing. <clears throat> we actually have an issue going on right now, literally right now, that kind of deals with this. Mother died without a will and the son listed the property with another agent. One of my agents brought the buyer. We are due to close in the middle of next week. And we just found out that she nor the court has never named an executor. So he in theory does not have the power to sign for his deceased mother. And he has two sisters that are arguing over who's going to be the executor and what are they going to do with her assets. They did not probate her estate. They didn't open one in the court system. So here we are due to close in the middle of next week and we technically can't do it. Matter of fact, I'm even questioning the validity of the listing. I actually called the other agent. How did you list this? Because technically you've got the son's signature. The property is still in the mother's name. Does he have the power to sign? Well, he's a good friend of mine. That doesn't cut it. Because apparently his sister out of Texas has given him an issue about who should be the executor of her will or the executor of her estate. So I spent most of the day on the phone yesterday with my attorney going over how this, what could happen. And we actually have this thing called an affidavit of survivorship. If the net proceeds on the sale is less than 50,000, there doesn't really need to be a formal estate. And in our case, we're at net proceeds to the seller of 47,900. We squeaked right under the line. So now the son is gonna go file this thing called an affidavit of survivorship for a joint tenancy and then allow him to sell the property and then split the money however they see fit. But that's not our concern. However they wanna do it, that's fine. All we care about is someone can sign on the line so that we can, my client can buy the property. So it's funny that we're going through this and this literally is what's happening in our brokerage today. So when John gets back, I hopefully will be able to post that for you. And if not, I'll get you directly, but I hopefully I can post it online so other people, because now you got other people going, I want the answer. So I'll find it out. So go back to that probation, make sure we just understand you probate the county they live in and the county that they own all real property in. So they may have several different ways or types or uh, not types, several different places that they have to probate. I believe that is the chapter that deals with title work. Ta-da! <laughs> Any questions? We've got one more class tomorrow that finishes out the title work that further makes it more a little confusing, but hopefully we'll straighten it out and then test number one. I'm assuming we're all thumbs up so far. <clears throat> Cameron, what'd you do to your hand? You going bowling later? Got your bowling glove on? No, it's, um, you ever heard like BMX where like people do tricks on the bike and stuff like that? Yeah, I ain't that old. Okay, so I actually like hurt my hand doing that. <clears throat> hey y'all, watch this. <laughs> Basically. You ever get really bored one day? I do this all the time when I'm like, oh, I got 10 minutes to kill because you can stop it again. Go to YouTube, type the word fail in, and then laugh your ass off. Just watch these idiots. There's a couple things you've noticed. Have you guys ever noticed that if you've done it? 99% of those videos are guys. You never see a woman going, hey, y'all watch this. 
a woman's like, that's stupid. I'm going to get hurt. I ain't doing it. It's always guys going, hey, I can jump across this from this roof to that roof. No. That's why you heavily insured. <laughs> That's why men die sooner, right? <laughs> but I told my wife that we were watching it one day, and she's like, what the hell was the best outcome? I mean, even if it worked, what was the best outcome? And it didn't work. And have you noticed? It's all guys doing it. I'm like, uh, yeah, I noticed that, and yes, it's true. All right. So all that BMX stuff, you jump from one hill to the other. Great practical application. What are you going to do with it later? Hey, y'all, hold my beer. <laughs> There's actually a Twitter account called Hold My Beer. If you guys are on Twitter, go check it out called Hold My Beer. It's another one of those where people go, hey, I think I can do this. All right, that's a little, I digress. Any questions on the chapter? Here we go through the countdown. Going, going, gone.